Bits for you guys. <clears throat> the beetles are attacking. Beetles are eating the plants. It's not even August yet. Your best bet mix up some organic dish soap in a spray bottle. Spray the surfaces of your plants, but also with watering and with any type of pesticide, preferably organic. Make sure you get under the surface of the leaves as well. Second tidbit, if you're a lawn care operator, don't ever fire up your mowers at between 6.30 and a quarter till seven in the morning at an old folks retirement home. That's professional suicide mowing June, July, and August, you guys should be mowing your lawns at four inches, okay? Up here in this region where we have northern cool season grasses. Now, if you remember last year, some of you guys might be saying, well, Daryl, I thought you said all that grass was going to die from the heat stress, but it looks just fine. The grass did die from the heat stress. You're not looking at the same grass. Now granted, 70% of that grass is the same, 80% of it's the same. It's the same northern cool season tall fescue, but the grass that did die from the heat last year has been replaced with shit grass. It's garbage. Fescues, usually rye or red rye, which is just a garbage grass. And there's our heroes, Larry and Larry. This place would fall apart without them. Have a good day, guys. Your turf, you guys, the high, the hotter the temperature, the higher the temperature, the higher you should be mowing your lawn. The cooler the temperatures, you can lower that mowing height down to three inches. If you've got a bluegrass lawn and you're on top of it every five to seven days, you can mow it at two and a half, three in cooler temperatures. If there's one thing I'm an expert in, it is specifically turf grass ecology and turf grass horticulture. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. And if I can't remember off the top of my head, I can find out in two seconds in my vast green library. What else, guys? Water in the morning. Water your plants in the morning. If you water late in the day, you water late in the afternoon, you're increasing the chances of your plants and your lawns getting fungus and diseases like red thread and brown patch slime mold we actually have something called slime mold so also this grass is wet these guys should not be mowing the grass when it's wet nobody should be mowing grass when it's wet why when you mow grass when it's wet you do not get a sharp cut on the edge of the top of the blade that's why you see lawns like that with a brown hue on top of it okay because the edges, the tops of the grass plants are not cut sharp because the grass was wet. The grass is dewy. Mow your lawns when it's dry. Then your lawn will have a greener color. You won't have that damaged brown top of your grass plant that leaves that brown hue. Thatch. Most people think that they have a thatch problem because you see a little bit of you, what you think is dead leaves in there, okay? Grass leaves, grass plant leaves, monocot leaves from those grass plants. And that's mostly tall fescue. That's about 90%, five different varieties of tall fescue in that grass. Cog fog, one second. Most people think thatch most people think they have a thatch problem. You don't have a thatch problem. We don't dethatch anymore. A hundred years ago, people dethatched. They thought that they had thatch problems. We don't have thatch problems. You cannot visibly see thatch. Thatch is at the surface of the soil and below the surface of the soil. It is not above the surface of the soil. You can't see it, okay? What do we, then why do they sell de-thatchers? They, those secret lawn care people. A 
and they woke up the entire retirement community. So what do we use D Thatchers for? We use D Thatchers for full renovations. When we're completely renovating a property, we use a D Thatcher to rip everything out. Okay, it's a tool of destruction leading to beautification. We don't use de-thatchers to actually de-thatch anymore, and we haven't in 30 years. So if you don't be fooled by that. Most of these videos, when I do green industry videos, it's to help you save money so you don't get ripped off. For example, don't ever be impressed by someone who tells you they're a master gardener, okay? It's a very fancy sounding title, but it actually takes about four hours to become a master gardener, and that's it. So it's not impressive. Now you have a bachelor's degree in ecology or agronomy or botany or horticulture, a bachelor's, that's a different story. Um, that's the kind of people that we hire. In any event, guys, don't be taken in by fancy titles and what sounds good because your grandfather said it. Okay, dethatch that lawn, etc., etc. What you should be doing right now is making an application in the next two months of 0060 potassium at between three and five pounds per thousand square feet. And that will help keep your lawn de-stressed with that potassium so that your grass doesn't die from and get damaged and weakened and stressed from the heat from the summer. It will help your grass plants stay alive because you're gonna lose some every summer. Um, first couple of weeks of September, maybe second or third week, you guys should be aerating and seeding. And your sh seed should cost about a dollar a handful for decent seed. When you buy seed, look at the ingredients on the seed and make sure that it does not have a high percentage of inert matter because that's all that garbage seed that they're using as a filler in the seed bags. You should have 98, 99% pure seed and it's gonna cost you but your properties are investment, just like your car, your computer, education, et cetera, et cetera. And so if you take care of it now, it'll save you money later. So what's the most important thing that you can do for your lawn, Daryl? Mowing properly is the number one most important thing you can do for your lawn, period. You should be mowing your lawn when it's dry, early in the day, Right now, I'd be mowing at four inches. Why? That grass can retain moisture because it has more leaf surface, and so it can retain more moisture. When the plants are high, let's say in a forest, and you look at the forest floor, there's not much growing down there because there's not much sun. And so if you have taller grass plants in a hot, stressful summer, the shade from those taller grass plants are going to take away sunlight and nutrients from noxious, undesirable plants like weeds and crabgrass and purslane and spurge and stuff like that. If your grass is taller, it will overcompete with those undesirables. That's why you want to have your grass taller. It'll stay greener, it will retain more moisture, and it will overcompete with the weeds that you don't want. Now, if you're mowing at grass, grass at too low of a height and hot, stressful temperatures, like mowing at three inches a year from now that's going to be full of crab grass all along the edges and full of weeds the good grass that people paid for is going to die and it's going to be replaced with garbage grass that blows off the fields that birds poop seeds that have been sitting there no kidding for hundreds if not thousands of years seeds have been sitting there just waiting to germinate down in the ground but in any event, my friends, that is your green industry moment of the morning. And I hope you guys are having an excellent, I think it's tears day. And I was moving around my house yesterday, but today I'm in my chair. You get up, you, the light switch almost goes off on your legs, so you get in your chair. Yesterday I was moving around the house pretty good. In any event, you guys, it's a pretty decent, humid day. It's really early because these guys dropped their freaking ramp at like 6.30 and woke up the entire neighborhood. I used to tell my guys, give them some money, send them down to the breakfast burrito place where they can get a $1 breakfast burrito at the Roach Coach and have them hang out and eat breakfast burritos on your dime until 7.30, 8 o'clock. 
that's the right thing to do. You wake people up, you piss them off. You lose clients. In any event, you guys, I hope you guys are having a happy, healthy, and successful day wherever you may roam. We're getting there. That's all for the BLTs. Have fun, guys.